think sort of Blackadder meets Monty Python meets Panto meets Stand Up. So it really does cover a huge kind of, you know, variety of styles. But as I said, it would appeal to sort of, you know, school children as well as sort of middle-aged people and, and elderly people as well. So, yeah, it appeals to sort of people who not necessarily would think of going to the Gospels exhibition, but hopefully after seeing the play, it might inspire them to actually take a visit up to the University Museum to pay a visit. I think it's important um, to make people laugh and entertain them because I think if you're just to hit people over the head with facts and figures, uh, you know, as we all found out at school, you pretty much switch off just about straight away, don't you? But I think one of the, one of the good things I think that's going to come out of this production and what the audience is going to get out of it is you might actually learn something by accident. We're not setting out to, to give you a history lesson. We're just going to have a lot of fun and we're going to start at the beginning, finish at the end. It's going to be 100 miles an hour all the way through couple of days later you might suddenly know a lot about the gospels i don't know but uh, it, it, it's about the journey it's about how fast it is how quick it is how much fun it is i think as much as anything else well we've got obviously sin cuthbert who started it all uh we've got a, a character Ead Frith, who started writing the gospels we've got a character called whitebeard who's a bit of a gandalf type figure we've got these marauding vikings who are more interested in building temples to their god ikea we've got henry the eighth we've got sherlock holmes we've got watson we've got king alfred who burnt the cakes doing a disco version to uh, the tramps burn baby burn disco inferno so as you can see it's fairly bonkers Th things like this like doing the show here at the gala it's great because it, it, it reaches out and it gives a lot more people a chance to, to have a look and to, to get them interested in going to see the Gospels because going to see the Gospels, I've been to see them and it's, it's quite special. It, there's just something special about them that you can't quite put your finger on, whether that's you know be, because they appeal to you on a religious front or whether it's because you just love the endeavour and the human spirit and the, and the craftsmanship that went into making them or all the tales of mystery and you know violence that they've been through as well in the past. I think it's important that everybody understands there's, there's more to the Gospels than might meet the eye.